Okay, this is uh, a little, this isn't really part of the lecture. This is a little demonstration. Uh, I think this is the first time that we go to uh, Walter Fent, but we're going to return to him often, walterfent.de. Um, has uh, uh, quite a few little uh, physics demonstrations. He has some mathematical demonstrations too. I would encourage you to just browse around. You have to uh, make sure that you're in the English version. But he, here he has the addition of vectors. And so he shows two vectors here. And uh, you, when you click on find out resultant, it just does the head to tail method. And then it draws a red vector that shows the resultant. So your assignment is to pick uh, three, four, or five. We'll just pick four. Um, and he throws up four uh, arbitrary resultants. And he that one going to the uh, upper right, that's the first uh, vector that he chooses. So that's the first one. And then he moves the second one head to tail, the third one head to tail, and the fourth one head to tail. And he uh, gets the red. Resultant. Now, your job is to pick three, four, or five, uh, and I want you to to pick a different um, different vector than just the the default, or different vectors than the default. And you can see that you can move these around uh, to get. Let's say I want a vector that goes due east. Well, I can play around with these uh, and get a, a resultant vector that is due east or to the right uh so you can play play with the you have to play with the ones that start from the origin you play with those uh and then you clear the construction then you'll see how it makes it um there's two there's three there's four and there's the resultant now all i want you to do is get a screen grab of what you constructed and i want everybody to look different um so just use your imagination you can use three vectors four vectors or five vectors uh, and pick a pick a uh you know play around with your vectors make them look a little bit different um just to make you aware uh he does have other uh other vectors i've i've, I've included uh this one on the on the little assignment page it's not part of the assignment but it shows you the equilibrium. That's something we're going to be working with on Monday. Uh, on, in the lectures, I talk about a Thursday lab. That's from an, uh, the, the le lecture is actually from an old, um, uh, la from the spring. And so we had Tuesday, Thursday classes. Tuesday was online, Thursday was lab. But we're Monday, Wednesday, where Monday is our lab. So we're, this is in preparation for our Monday lab. Uh, this pink uh, line is the equivalent equilibrant. Uh, you can see the the uh, you have the red arrow is one force, the uh, the blue arrow is another force, and they they uh, are forced going up. Well, the equilibrant is a force going downward, and so you can change. You can let's uh, change that a little bit. And now you can see the equil equilibrant has changed. Um, so that's that's you can play with that one. I've included that one uh, on the um, on the assignment. I didn't include, but you're welcome to play with. Uh, I, I didn't include the resolution of force because uh, it's a little it's a little unclear. Uh, we can make this. Uh, uh, we want a uh, we want um, want these to add to ninety, and we can even. Uh, change this to where it kind of looks like a, a 90 degree and you can say find out components and it's showing you the first is showing you the vertical component y and and then the horizontal component and then it's going to draw uh, draw them there's the horizontal component the first component and it gives you a value of 4.23 then it's drawing the second component and it's uh, giving you uh, 1.54. So if you were to take the uh, the 4.5 at the sign of uh, 20 degrees, you would get uh, 4.23. And if you were to take uh, 4.5, the uh, uh, 
the, I don't know what I said. It, it should have been 4.5 times the cosine of 20. You would have gotten the first component, 4.23. If you take uh, 4.5 and take the sine of 20 degrees, you'll, you'll get 1.54. Uh, so let's, um, uh, that's it really. Uh, the assignment is due uh, Sunday night before the, uh, before the lab. Uh, I think it'll help you uh, understand the lab a little better. Uh, but that's the one, that's the one, the resultant of forces, that's this one. Uh, okay, that's it for, for this mini lecture.